Hey, what's up everybody? Jeremy here with another episode of Next Level Students, episode 63. Let's get it. Question number one, what you got? Hi, my name is Amanda from Wesley Chapel and I have a question for Mr. Anderson. What is something that people misunderstood about you? Mmm, that's good. So one of the biggest things that I feel like people or my teachers misunderstood by me is that I was just a bad kid. Like I wasn't a bad kid, I was hyperactive. I had a short attention span. Um, you know, my behavior wasn't the best, but I wasn't a bad kid. You know what I'm saying? And so I think when I got to a point when I realized, you know, that my teachers cared about me and I, I and because they showed up every single day, like I have a responsibility to do better to control my behavior. Cause I can say, hey, I'm not trying to do this. Hey, I'm not trying to have this behavior. You know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't my fault, but there's something different when I say, you know what? I can control my behavior. I can control how I act. And so though I was not intentionally trying to hurt their feelings or be disrespectful or drive them crazy or stress them out, my behavior oftentimes was. And so I had to tell myself and say, okay, Jeremy, show them. Show them that greatness that they've been talking about. Show them that greatness that they've been speaking of. Like, let them know how amazing, how strong, and how great you can be. So for me, I had to get to a point where I said, okay, they have a misunderstanding about me. They think I'm a bad kid. They think I can't get it together. Let me prove them wrong. Let me show them that I can get it together. Because I had a cluster of teachers. I had some teachers who believed in me that was in my corner rooting for me, but I had a group of teachers that was like, Jeremy's not good enough. And so I had to get to a point where I said, you know what, everybody who's rocking with me, I'm gonna prove them right. And all those who don't believe in me, I'm gonna prove them wrong and show them, hey, I can bounce back and your support in me is gonna be the very thing that's gonna help me to bounce back. So with all that being said, my advice to you is to don't even be so much concerned about what other people think or what they say about you or how they might misunderstand you. You be true to yourself. You do what you gotta do. You handle your business and watch how your life gonna go to that next level. All right, question number two, what you got? Hello. My name is Ian Hickerson. I attend Stewart Middle School in Douglasville, Georgia. I strive each day and every day to be a next level student. Mr. Anderson, my question is, who do you trust the most and why? Mm, Ian, that's a good question. Thank you for sharing that, my man. So I think who I trust most are those closest to me, my family, my family. I have to ask myself this, who are the people that go above and beyond for me? Who are the people that are always in my corner? Who are the people looking out for me? So I will ask you all, like, who do you trust the most? You know what I'm saying? Is it, is it your parents? It should be. Is it your loved ones? Absolutely, it should be. Um, is it teachers, administrators, those who are showing up? Public service announcement, they don't have to be there. Your teachers, your counselors, your social worker, the administrators, they don't have to be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, your parents have to be there, and your parents love you, of course but you have other people in your life as well that can help you and support you and help you go to the next level. Now, if you're like me, all of you students across the country and across the globe watching this, if you're kind of like me, you really didn't trust people. I want y'all to get to a point where you say, you know what, I do trust people. You know what, I'm gonna do the absolute best I can with who is in my environment. I want you to get to a point where you say, you know what, let me try to give somebody a shot. If they haven't broken your trust, then don't, then don't then let the wall down. Now, if you have somebody that's broken your trust over and over and over again, okay, so don't trust them no more. But I think for me, what took my life to the next level is when I got more mature and I realized, you know what, I got family members, I got loved ones, I've got administrators, I got teachers, I got people that's in my corner, I got counselors, even though I didn't want to meet with them, I got people who I was willing to meet with and I humbled myself to be able to get some game from them, to be able to get some understanding, some peace, some knowledge. So I want y'all to win. Listen to me, y'all listen to me and hear me clearly. I want you all to win in life. And so you got to be open. You got to be more receptive to getting help. You got to be willing to be more vulnerable. That's how you're going to show how strong you are. That's how you're going to show how powerful you are. That's when you're going to show how you're going to take your life to the next level. When you get to a point where you say, you know what, I'm going to be vulnerable. I'm going to be open. I'm going to tell myself I won't give up. With life I'll wrestle, for I am a hardworking and resilient vessel. I need you all to be hardworking and resilient, but you can't do it by yourself. You need other people. 
So if there are people in your life that's showing up on a regular basis and they're saying they care about you, they're saying they're in their corner, your corner, they're saying that they love you, I want to challenge you to open up your heart. Receive that love, receive that support, because that's what's going to help you get to the next level. All right, question number three, what you got? Hi, Jeremy, I'm Diani. I'm an eighth grader. What are some of your best advice to prepare me for high school? Mm, so some of the best advice that I would give you to prepare you for high school is to know who you are now. Most young people that I be rocking with, when they leave eighth grade and they go to high school, they about to be freshmen and they brain, they instantly go to, I want to be accepted. And their brain, most of them go to, I just want to fit in. I hope people like me. You like you. You fit in with you. You focus on it being accepting, you know what I'm saying, inside your own heart, inside your own self. So that's what I would tell you to do. I would tell you to go through a journey of, of exploring, like self-exploratory. Like I want you to understand who you are, you know what I'm saying, inside your heart, inside your mind, inside your soul. Like who are you? What are you into? What's your style? What are you passionate about? You know what I'm saying? What gets you going in the morning? Like I want that to be something that you have uh, like a journey you embark upon. That way, when you go into the school, you're not going to be influenced with what's happening. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you've been created to influence. You've been made to influence, not to be influenced. I want for you to be sure with who you are. You walk into high school as a freshman with your shoulders back, your chest out, your chin up, and you're like, what up? What's happening? Yep, this is who I am. This is what I stand for. This is what I'm about. And I'm trying, trying to fit inside your circle. I'm not trying to put me inside no box. I am my own man. I am my own woman. That's the mindset that I want you all to have. So whether you leave in fifth grade and you get ready to go to middle school, whether you leave in middle school, you get ready to go to high school. Watch this. For those of y'all that's watching this and you in high school, you about to graduate, you a senior, and you getting ready to go to college, I want you to have that same mindset. I want you to be at peace with who you are. The other previous question was like, who do you trust the most? Hey, do you trust yourself? My question for you is, do you trust yourself? Do you trust your destiny? Do you trust that your dreams can come true? Like if so, then we've got to put that work in today and every single day. And that's what I want you all focused in on. There is greatness inside you. And there is something amazing that you're destined to have and to experience. But I need you walking in your full purpose. I need you walking in your full calling. I need you walking in your full potential. I want you being positive. I want you being optimistic. I want you walking to that school as a freshman knowing that you're going to be a leader, knowing that you're going to make an impact, knowing that you're going to put your stamp on the school. I want you walking into that environment and be the type of person that's going to shift the atmosphere. Be the type of person with your head up and your shoulders back, knowing that you're special, knowing that you're fearfully and wonderfully made. We're not trying to fit in. You know what I'm saying? We are all unique in our own way. That's why we've all been given our own different um, thumbprints and fingerprints. Like there is nobody else that has the same exact fingerprint. There is no other person like you out here in the world. So don't you try to fit in. You was born to stand out. Don't you sit back and dole back. You was born to shine bright and you shine bright like a diamond. And when you do that, other people are going to see how amazing you are. And that light is going to illuminate off of each other. And that's how we're going to go to the next level. All right. This has been great hanging out with y'all this week. Stay tuned for more updates and I'll see y'all real soon. Hey, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. And I just wanted to share two quick things with you before you get back to class. For one, I want more videos from students just like you. So with your parents' approval, your school's approval, email those questions to me directly from your phone to info at jeremyanderson.org. It's right there on the screen. Info at jeremyanderson.org. Send me your questions and you could be the next student that we feature in our video series. Also, to every teacher, counselor, and administrator watching this video, we've released our all new updated Next Level Students character curriculum. We've got a K through 12 social and emotional learning curriculum that focuses on the whole child that is sure to be a game changer for your school. So visit nextlevelstudents.org and find out more information about our curriculum and we're here to help take your school to the next level.